Welcome to the Fly Route Pod. I'm gonna cut to the chase. About 96% of y'all watching this video have not subscribed. And I need that number to go up to continue to make these videos and support the channel. So slam that subscribe button on your screen right now and hit the notification bell. And while I have you, I wanna give a shout out to my sponsors at mybookie.ag. Mybookie.ag is the best place for you to get your sports betting on. MyBookie.ag has live in-game betting on every NFL game for my diehard cappers and prop bets such as the over-under on fantasy points. Use promo code FLY and receive a 100% match on your first deposit up to $1,000. That's double your money to double your winnings with your first ever deposit using promo code FLY for Latavius Murray. So the Saints cut Latavius Murray after reportedly asking him to take a pay cut like five days before the season started, which sidebar, dirty, trifling, stank move by the New Orleans Saints. They could have cut him way earlier. They knew his cap situation, which is not, which is not huge, by the way. He only gets paid like $3 million this year. They knew their situation in accordance to the cap but they waited until five days before the season when the market should dry up for him and other places he can go to ask him to take a pay cut. And kudos to Latavius Murray for standing his ground, saying no, and that proceeded to him being cut slash released. And I don't blame him at all. The Saints are rebuilding. Their Super Bowl window is 100% closed, and there's no reason to take a pay cut to stay on that team when you are Latavius Murray, he's only making three million dollars. So it's a, a pay cut from three million dollars when you play in the NFL is actually quite significant because it wasn't like you were already getting paid a ridiculous amount of money in the first place. And he is definitely a good, good back, especially a good backup or a number two guy over the past two seasons behind Alvin Kamara. He's has over seventeen hundred all-purpose yards, and 11 touchdowns. When Alvin Kamara has went down, he's averaging near 150 yards a game. The man steps up when he is supposed to. And with how light the Saints are with offensive weapons, like, look, I understand, like, Tony, he's coming, he's coming, and he looks like a good number two back, but this actually seems like quite a blow for them. But here are three teams that I want to see Latavius Murray on. And this is going interesting from least to most. And the least interesting to me, but one that I definitely think works, is the Atlanta Falcons. You move in division, not that far of a place for you to travel. You get to seed the Saints twice a year. But most importantly, the Falcons' number two running back on their depth chart is Cordell Patterson. Look. As a diehard Bears fan, I can tell you that this is not worthwhile. We have tried the Cordell Patterson out of the backfield experiment. We have tried the Cordell Patterson as a receiver experiment. Multiple people have tried both of those experiments. And that's not to say that Cordell Patterson isn't a good player. He is a fantastic special teams player. He is going to bring his value on that alone. But no. He is not a number two running back for an NFL team. It's just not not happening. The number one running back is Mike Davis, who honestly I like and through a larger workload last year because of the Christian McCaffrey injury. He actually showed up. He did very well. But he only had like under 700 yards that season. Like if we're being honest about Mike Davis, Mike Davis has played since 2015 in the NFL. And all time has around 1,500 total rushing yards. Like, Murray would automatically be the best back in Atlanta, which is something that I honestly believe. But more importantly, Atlanta having Mike Davis and Latavius Murray as a one-two punch might actually allow them to establish a real run game, which is something that Atlanta has not been able to do for quite some time. Now, my number two team is actually the Buffalo Bills. I think this team's biggest weakness is being able to establish the run. Zach Moss had an okay rookie season last year, but the Zach Moss, Devon Singletary combo, which Devon Singletary's run has been a little bit longer, has not been proven to be able to generate a run game at any point in their Bills tenure. Murray could be a big compliment to that running back room and give them a guy that can actually push people around, a big 
bruising back to establish the run for them. Murray's 6'3". I think Zach Moss is like 5'9". Nine, five, nine, five, nine. Big difference. Big difference in body type. Big difference in size. This is a team that if you wanted to take a discount to play on, the Bills is a team to take a discount to play on where you can actually get the work. That's one, very important. But B, you actually have legitimate Super Bowl chances this year. So if you're going to take a discount to play, why not go to Buffalo? Now, my third, and it's my most interesting, and it's the one that you're going to hear every time a running back is available right now, and that's the Baltimore Ravens. Now, the Baltimore Ravens, I know they just signed Le'Veon Bell, which I will get to in a little bit during this segment. And the difference is he just got there. He didn't go through a camp. He didn't go through a preseason. It's going to take him some time to get on. That's the reason why he signed to the practice squad first instead of straight to the 53-man roster. But Latavius Murray, he is the best option for Baltimore. He is already in game shape. He's already had a preseason. He's already had a training camp. He can plug in and start playing right away once he understands the playbook and what you want of him. And we have seen, especially as we've seen the rookies come in, their rookie running backs, pick up the playbook immediately and get going, that a veteran like Latavius Murray should be able to pick it up. And they lost both J.K. Dobbins and Justice Hill, so they desperately, desperately, desperately need some help in Baltimore for their run game. I think Latavius Murray would probably be the second best back behind Gus Edwards there. It would give them a continuous punch in Baltimore for being able to really make things work. I think role-wise, the workload, fit, etc. He's flourished in those backup roles and not having a lot of carries. He's also flourished some in the passing game, which I think is a back that Baltimore could definitely use to give Lamar some more short passes to get some rhythm going. We know they're going to open up their offense some this year, but we also know their receiving core is pretty banged up early on. 